you, it didn't just come to you. Like what you had done right before that created like an inception, like a dream possibility. And they gave you your, your little brain waves or your energy body um, some incentive to speak on topics and issues. Then you see yourself mess up and you don't know where you're at. And you start saying things like, we are gods. Well, the aliens have certain things that are going on, like co-creator, which is they gave you the little bit of power to speak for a second or a part of it and display what they're talking about, like you hear me doing now. But also, besides uh, co-creator, there's also beings that are shamans or sorcerers on this planet, and we practice many... Um, Many things that were had to do with seeing um, the cast and the form of animal. Not people always want to just refer to animals, but we also see it on people and the things that they've incorporated in themselves. And the gods are the ones that allow this, which we call seeing, to occur. And we've seen many things, and they've shown us many practices to to come to these conclusions and. Some of the practices were like inner silence, learning to shut off your own internal dialogue and to slow your own mind down so you could only perceive what they're showing you, which is a process which actually alters the energy body. And some of those things are a higher done at a higher intention, so it takes a while to get them in place. So when I see people doing these co-creator things and and calling themselves gods when they, their bodies are changing, I see that um, they're not doing it all the way. They're they're just getting a glimpse of it, and then they think that it's going to just stick, and they could go with it, but it doesn't. So, human, you have people. They'll never refer to you as a people or a human. So, I just know this. We don't even, we're not even at the level of terror and that's actually a level. We have like an energy cocoon around our body and it's it's a luminous cocoon. You know, it's round like the planets are round. That's a natural configuration because it has balance. It's all It has equal pressure on every side for being out in a space where there's nothing. It's just like floating in space. Uh, sure, you might be fixated by other planets and held to where you are. This can't be where this is because this has an actual mass and a boundary. Even though it's light, these things can't just push into each other. They also have the power to, power to repel, just like planets do. You know, the, gal the galaxy is a good place to study the forces that these beings are made of. That's exactly where they come from. So Terrans don't have enough of this inner luminous stuff already in them to even be called a Terran. Which actually is probably like the elements and see those are things I've also learned about too. But we're, we as a species have only had our knowledge for five to 10,000 years. And even on Atlantis, 30,000 to shit, I don't know how long, it might have been 90,000 to uh, 2 million years ago. There were, there were uh, slaves, which they were called slaves in Atlantis because they were indebted because they lived in the luminosity of these beings. If you're out here, you die. You can't exist by yourself. You'd have to have a highly developed Terran, which may take two million years by itself to develop one of those. And it would be a whole civilization of those. And then you can't even stay in this body forever. These beings have to... From material materialized state to a light state, we have a dual being body. We're in this part, full, dark, heavy, or in like the sun kind of energy, which is light and fluffy and more fluid. Things have a hard time passing through this, and so things get stuck. See, just like that. But through this, it would pass through easily. So we have this dual convergence. Our physicality is more represented most of the time in here because we associate ourselves because we have less knowledge and memory of this. See, the gods were made with this. This is foreign to them. Now they may get a little bit of heaviness, which they call, they have processes, which if you ever read about Brahmins, and the, the real Brahmins were actually gods themselves. 
which is a more a species um, higher developed than us, but not quite as developed as a full god, which is a part of a species which has probably been a billion years old, which is a development stage. So the Brahmins are probably at the um, beginning of that in the first million or two million years. And so these, they have things like the descent in, of the body to, you know, recollect all the lines and memories and things that they've already collected or to alter their history by altering their past with their new present knowledge or to leap forward. Those are a bunch of, there's so many millions of practices that go into uh, what a being does. It's unbelievable. But the shamans didn't just learn galactic knowledge, they also had knowledge of where they are in the universe, and that's a good place to begin with, like, <clears throat> to know what level of knowledge you're on, what possibilities you are you have in you, like being able to uh, stabilize yourself by being still all day without jerky or sudden mo movements, and still being able to have a minimal amount of fluidity to keep going on. It's like trying to be a um, be able to be still enough so that you would exist in a plane where movement didn't count as much as it does here. Just like the uh, Brahmins used to do in a heavy meditation. You see that they're they're they get into a meditation. They might be in there for five to fifty years, and if you can imagine what you would have to do to make that possible, first of all, they're a light beings, so you probably can't imagine. And I've kind of perceived some of it, and I would say that those the images and projections they start creating create scenarios in which they enter into, or they may go into there in a um, individual, and they also have the memory of what it's like to be in groups. So one seer way over here may be communicating with a seer that's associated with all these people, and although he perceives it individually. This doesn't actually symbolize a circle of them sitting together, but a group. So they have interconnected dream scenarios. And it all has to do with records of um, what they're supposed to do. Although it's supposed to be veiled, and it may be in a, in a way like they can't know exactly what they're supposed to be getting to. Although they may have an insight to it. They... Um, they have the possibility already instilled in them from probably a higher up being or a leader such as an Atlantean who has shown them what that means. And all this is all fun and fun and games. This is the good part actually, but I had things that I wrote here earlier today which is a total, total counter contradiction to what they do here on earth with this experiment and the, what they do in war which is also a representation of the gods like here you have a part of what happens which is good for us then you have here what is bad for us and then you start thinking about why well let me say maybe they did all this because they may need to be here one day and maybe they would never have done any of this if they didn't need this because they would be separate but who's to say they shouldn't cultivate beings anyway? Cultivating the universe actually brings about more possibilities, which when you have more things to look at with the eye, you know it's more appeasing. If there's many stars in the skies, you feel happy. If there's only a few, you would be content, but you would be missing out on the possibility of, of many stars. So the contradiction is, why would they bring us into a war that was so ugly and used us in such a disgusting way and actually give us ignorance and saying that's who we are because they aren't who they are they were given that by the avians and in return they gave us this and not enough of this was it a plan in a meditation group to make us not feel good about ourselves and to keep us in darkness. People don't even know about things like circles and bouncing the above with the below, fluidity, repercussions, cause and effect, male, female. Those are the seven um, universal laws. Even the mental thing that we're all going through right now isn't even an exact um, 
way of way of it being done. A lot of people are knowing about these uh, God communications and fasting, and they call it the Kabbalion, where you have the um, the mental universe. They put us into like a mental chamber and lodges, and we communicate through with each other through a correspondence, and we have to kind of realize how it's occurring and what's going on, and and the details that matter, and then the ones that don't matter. And all this stuff to do with awareness. <clears throat> it all becomes strange because these groups were formed kind of abruptly. You know, um, we lived half our lives eating all these fried foods. Shit, I still have to eat all that junk. I used to know how not to have a junky diet. Now I'm forced to because of this. Like if I don't, the gods will do shit like blow my stomach up so crazy that you wouldn't believe... I'm still alive, like inside I feel like I'm dead. It's not just from the stomach, they'll hit me with like 50 symptoms at one time to de debilitate me. So the subjection God puts us through isn't exactly um, human. It's not something you do to a human or to people or to a Terran. That's why they lowered us so they could feel good about what they do, which is really a lie. So that's why I'm always like, don't trust the gods. Can't totally trust them. Don't go to them blindly, ignorantly. Even if you think you've solved it after a month, you haven't solved everything. You should always pit yourself against them in some way. You know what I mean? Having an enemy is useful. It keeps you sharp. That's a shaman knowledge. And God may say that, oh, we gave this to you, that to you. Well, there's other beings in the universe. They can't not give those things to us. It's our rights as beings. They've actually lowered us to the lowest possibility you can without anyone objecting and having to leave their territory or their homes to come here and solve this. And you got a lot of cowards out there. There's like 1.25 million galactic beings in a group. And then you have Elohims in another little area. And they all have their little particular thing going on. But they, they hate when you tell the truth. They love it when you lie for them or you uh, take the blame or spread it out further. But you know what? I wasn't there when they created this plan. That's my truth. And I'll, I'll die for that truth. Because if, you don't, if you're not willing to die for it, I'm telling you there's somebody there to take it. I'm telling you there's somebody there to take it. The government may hate me, but the government's a bunch of cowards. They've only ever taken what the gods gave them and done what the gods told them to. All this stuff over here, oh, they got it written down somewhere too. But have they ever seen it or perceived it? No. They may have now today got a glimpse of it with their meta um, metadata. Let's write that down because that was a little topic I'd actually wanted to get to in this video over here. Metadata. They say they're metadata. People don't even know what that means, but they put it on the TV as another meaning. Metaphysical. A thicker um, physicality in the energy body. You think your physical body is the only one, but you know that sometimes you have a glow around you or used to more often, or you feel like you're in a layer of your body. That's the metaphysical, and that's something we should be actually learning in school is metaphysics. We should actually be graduating someday. Really, if you build a society, all the things we're doing now should have happened 20,000 years later. You know, we already went through all the jungle and all that stuff. And being so in touch with nature, we always had to be there. We should actually be able to graduate to a classrooms and have appropriate settings and not the ones we do nowadays, which is a total misappropriation. And we'll actually take time to correct and... That time's going to cost us beings, us future beings, not gods. And they want to still co inside of us. You know what I mean? And they take us to war and they're not going to give us more than we're supposed to have, more than the other slaves. I mean, you always got to be watching your billfold in front of these gods. I'm telling you, they accuse you of being, um, you and me of being low and sneaky. It's not us you got to worry about. We're just some little beings fighting for our rights. So, alright everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. Have a good day.